every Friday, the team at Local Waste also gives us an opportunity to, to get a few things off our chest by way of emails to talk at ryanjesperson.com. It's a tradition we call Trash Talk! All right, got this one from G, who says, In a recent COVID update presser, the Premier of Alberta, Jason Kenney, couldn't get enough of emphasizing that this new COVID variant originated in Africa. I was actually counting how many times he insisted on mentioning that, at least four times. Now, I know Jason Kenney loves a good dog whistle, but when answering a question in French... The veil really slipped. About 59 minutes into the presser, the premier referred to travelers from South Africa as, and and pardon me, pardon, when I say pardon my French, I don't mean I'm about to have a bunch of expletives. I mean, like, actually pardon my French as des des étrangers, which means strangers. So uh, she says, see, this is what happens when you try to dog whistle in a language you're not comfortable in. Kenny knows the French word for traveler, voyageur, or passenger, passager. Heck, he could have even gone with tourist, touriste. And a real classy politician might have simply said Canadien, as many travelers from these areas would be from our own citizens returning home. But no, he wanted something scarier. And in that moment, when he tried to find a scarier word than traveler, he landed on stranger. He crossed the line and completely othered people from Africa. And as a French speaker, I was ticked. So I wonder what the premier, would he admit to pandering to a xenophobic base or would he blame this on poor French? I guess I'll take whichever, as I know his ego couldn't stand admitting to either of those things. Regards, she says as she signs off. What about this one from Tyler, the tired nurse? He's back. He says, according to Alberta Health Services, they've indicated there are 260 employees that are eligible for daily testing as they are refusing to get the vaccine. These are not individuals with legitimate health conditions. These are people flatly refusing the concept of vaccinations to protect the greater good. I am a registered nurse, and I I have received all of my vaccinations so I can provide care for immune compromised and vulnerable people. The thing is, I genuinely care about the health of the people in my job. And I don't know. I thought that maybe if I was the source of infection that killed somebody's grandmother, I'd be sick. If you 260 asshats truly wanted to help, you would have taken your flat earth believing aluminum foil hat wearing asses down to the pharmacy and you would have got vaccinated months ago. The thing is, I don't think you even want to help. I reject the premise of your employment. That from Tyler, the even more tired nurse. P.S. Like, really? Who the fuck are these people? Thanks, Tyler. What about this one from Patrick, who says, oh boy, Friesen Brothers might love this one. Patrick says, I'm all for doing my part to save the planet. I'm not perfect, but I did switch to driving a hybrid a few years ago. He says, I've reduced my water usage. I was one of the first of my friends to adopt LED light bulbs, and I really don't mind that we don't get plastic bags at the grocery store anymore. I've adapted. I bring reusable bags when I remember, and I don't mind paying 15 cents for a paper bag when I forget, but I want an actual fucking bag I can use that's worth my 15 cents. My local Safeway grocery store has now reduced the size of the paper bags three fucking times without reducing the price and I'm just waiting for the day I show up with my reusable bag and find a fucking paper lunch bag waiting for me to pack my groceries. Fuck Safeway! That from Master Corporal Patrick! This message not officially sponsored by the team at Friesen Brothers. And this one from Trudy! Trudy, I love emails like this. She says, I've been trying to listen to your very interesting guests talking about climate change, particularly as it applies to recent events in BC, but I found myself yelling at my phone Just ask the fucking question already. I can rarely get through an entire Real Talk podcast. Ryan's interview style is so painful to listen to. The podcast should be called Ryan Talks, as you do more talking than most of your guests. You don't need two minutes to cite irrelevant minutiae to set up the question, do you think we're stupid? I keep tuning in as I continue to hope you will figure this out. You have excellent guests, informative, entertaining, and they should be given the opportunity to speak. I turned off Real Talk and I turned on Smartless. You might want to take a lesson from that podcast. When one of their hosts takes too long to ask a question, the other two call them out. I had to get this off my chest. It makes me crazy. That from Trudy. Trudy, I'll try to keep it tight. In the meantime, y'all have a great weekend. Coming up next week on the show, Chris Hadfield. Yeah, the Chris Hadfield. Plus, is it time for Alberta or the West to leave Canada? UFC professor Barry Cooper says yes. Senator Paula Simon says no. What does the proposed Roger Shaw deal mean for your mobility bill, your phone, and hybrid salmon discovered on Vancouver Island? 
what the deal, and how do they taste? Just kidding. More on next week's edition of Real Talk. Share, spread, rate, tell your friends, and we'll talk to you soon.